In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get different input data from our VR controllers so you can utilize them in your games. This data can be used to add up scores like in Beat Saber, which uses the angle of your controller and cut, or like in Thrill of the Fight, which uses the velocity of your controller and a few other data points to help determine how hard you punch. We'll be going over how to look at the controller data by looking at the XR interaction debugger and what we need to do to access that data from our input devices and also how we can use that data to do things in our games like, I don't know, add up a score. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Unity VR template that I created and if you missed out on that, I'll provide a link to that video in the description below as well as some additional resources and scripts that I've also made available in an instantly downloadable link in the description below as well. All you have to do is drag that resource that you've downloaded into the VR template and you'll be able to start this tutorial. Opening up the project, you'll notice that I've already imported the resources that we'll need for this project and it is going to be a prefab that says data canvas display input data and input data and I'll go over that in a moment but first I want to organize our scenes and talk about the XR interaction debugger so I'm going to duplicate the scene control D and I'm going to rename it something simple controller data so let's open up our controller data scene and let's ask ourselves well we want controller data but where do we even begin and we could try by looking at the XRI default input actions. And it's nice, it will kind of show us what the mapping is to this data point, but it's not really telling us any information. And a nice tool that we can use that Unity provides is the XR interaction debugger. So if we exit out of here and go to window analysis and then XR interaction debugger, We'll have to unhighlight interactors and interactables, but highlight input devices. And it's not showing anything, but if we press play, looking at some of this data, you'll notice that we can do things like see if the buttons are being pressed, but even more interesting is we can even pick up the device position, rotation, or even the device velocity or angular velocity. But in order to use this data in our scripts and games, first we need to grab our input devices so we can target them and extract that data out of them. So let's exit out of here and I'm going to go over a script that I've provided in the resources called input data and I'm going to double click it and open it up. So looking at this, we start off by importing unity engine.xr, which is going to give us access to the class's input device and input device characteristics. And if we come down here, we have three public variables, which we're going to use as references to our right controller, left controller, and head mounted display. In the update, you'll see that if any of these are not valid, as in they aren't populated, then we will initialize input devices. So coming into that function, all of these if statements do pretty much the same thing. If the current thing we're checking is not valid, we will call initialize input device and what input device or initialize input device takes is an input device characteristic as well as a reference to an input device. So here we're passing it, you know, a right controller is what we're looking for and then a reference to the right controller variable. And so if we come in here, you'll see that we start up by making a new list of input devices. We call a function called input devices dot get devices with characteristics. We use those characteristics Characteristics that we passed in. It will populate if it finds something and it should be the first in the list if it finds anything and it will populate the variable that we passed in and that's really it. So we got our input devices. Let's come back to the scene and start to use these things and get data from them. So if you look at this prefab right here and drag it into the scene, uh, just to give you a heads up, if you are getting, uh, if this isn't showing up, you might have to import text mesh pro because I use that in this prefab and I did not add that to the VR our template, which I will in the future. But looking at this, it says left high score and right high score, and we have two numbers here. And if you go over here, you'll see that we have the input device script from before, but we also have this new one called display input device. And it also uses two references to the left score display and the right score display. So if we open this up, you'll see that that's just these numbers right here. But let's open up this script and see how it works and how we can use the input devices that we got from input data. So let's go over this script really fast. Uh, I start off by importing unity engine.xr because we're going to be using components from that as well as text mesh pro so we can mess around with the UI component that I have. We have some variables here. One's going to store the UI that I've set up in the scene. We also have one for the input data, which is that one script that is grabbing our input devices. And then I have a couple of floats that are going to score our max score and left uh, max score, uh, left max score and right max score. There we go. 
And in the start function, I just go out and get that input data component that's attached to the same object as this script. And this is where the magic is. This is where we are using our input data. So I go into here, input data dot left controller dot try and get feature value. And for this, I'm going to get the device velocity and I store it into a vector three because that's what it returns. And I take that and I try to make a max score out of this. So since it is a vector three, I actually just turn it into its magnitude which kind of is a conglomerate of that vector three. And I compare that to our left max score and that just replaces it. And finally, I change the display to the second decimal place. And this is the spot right here where you want to look if you don't want to use device velocity, because you could do quite a lot of things. You can do battery level, uh, eye level, color, camera. I mean, this list goes on and on. So if you want to experiment and try different data inputs or input data, this is where you do it. And that's really it. And yeah, it's working. I move the controllers up, down, left, right. And if I move them quicker, the score will go higher on the right or the left. And yeah, there are so many things that you can still pick out if you choose and add to your games if you want to make a score out of it. I mean, do you want to use the velocity, rotation, position? Uh, do you want to use if they're grabbing the grip button, the primary button? Do you want to use the head mounted display and all the sensors from there? It's honestly just look at the XR interaction debugger and see what you want to extract out and how you want to process that data. And now you know how to access input data from your controllers and head mounted display. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.